This is Brody with Threshold 360 here to give you a follow up on our custom map builder webinar. So we've had two great customer webinars um, and we're starting this follow up module series and wanted to just touch again on uh, the Threshold custom maps and what you can do uh, with these maps. Again, anyone that has uh, professional or enterprise access has access to our custom maps. So to get started, uh, like always, you'll log into your Threshold dashboard. Um, up here, you'll click on the Maps tab. Uh, from this point, you'll have the ability to create a map or go find an existing map, duplicate it. Uh, we do have customers that create master maps that you can um, go in and uh, create kind of like a hotel map for a destination and then just duplicate it, rename it, uh, and essentially retool it anytime you, you have a, a use for that specific map. Um, to give you an example, I'll just go in here where we've got this example right here. Um, click on it. It's going to take you to uh, the map that you've created. So, for instance, I just started with, with one location. Uh, I've added this as my anchor. So, at this point, I can go in and add locations. Uh, you can search sort by the different categories. So, I'm going to click lodging, uh, click add all. I'm just going to give you guys an example of what this is going to look like. Um, and again, the great thing with our maps is that uh, you can have different categories for each location depending on the map. So uh, one hotel could have a different category based on the map itself. Uh, we do, we have customers that have all sorts of great ideas. Uh, we have customers that create itinerary maps. So you may have a category that's day one, day two, day three. Um, you'll see there's all sorts of different categories in here like headquarter hotel. So I can assign it. Uh, I can add a subtitle, add extra information, um, and then from here I can click save. That's going to change the category, um, but again, you can you can switch those out. You can create new categories, so whatever custom category you want, you have that ability. Uh, you also have the ability to sort, so you can sort by the distance from the anchor. So if you want to show uh, how far certain hotels are from that anchor point, so uh, again, with Threshold maps, you have the ability to either just create a map with all of your locations if you're wanting to do like a facilities guide um, or site visit, or if you're wanting to build the map around a specific point like your convention center, uh, like a hotel, uh, hospitals even, we have hospital customers that use our platform for, for recruiting, you have that ability to create an anchor on the map. So you'll see right here where it says map settings. You can change that anchor, you can remove it. You can also show the distance. So if you want the default to be uh, walking, driving, you have that ability. You also have the ability to change the name depending on the event here in the title. Uh, you can add subtitles. So if you want to have extra information like event starts here, you can. Um, you can change the color of your anchor, which is great. And then down here is where you have a few other settings. You can add a call to action to your map. Uh, you can toggle the blue dot tracking. So that's showing how far locations are from your anchor. You can toggle that on or off. Uh, you can change your location to a number. So if you wanted to um, use this number right here, you'll see this will actually correlate with any printed maps that you create. Um, and then you can also toggle back and forth between uh, satellite view. So if you wanted to actually have a default satellite view, if you're creating a sports facilities map, you have that ability. So you can actually see the stadium uh, in relation to everything else. Um, once you've got your map created, there's three ways that you can easily share it. You can either print it. So you, if you click print, it's going to pull up uh, a PDF, which you can actually save. And we have a lot of customers that will add these two uh, PDF packets that they'll create for clients. Um, any of our printed maps are going to have a QR code on them and they will show all the locations that you've added to the map. Uh, you can also click to embed. So this iframe code, just like with our uh, tour iframe codes, you can put this anywhere, uh, any third party platform, anywhere on your website that has that ability to add an iframe code. So for, for all of my customers that use uh, bid proposals, if you guys have like a digital bid proposal deck like SendSites, DigiDeck, uh, we actually covered on our recent sales webinar that you can add, embed directly into those platforms with this iframe code. Um, please don't ever hesitate to, to reach out to uh, and connect us with 
any platforms that you work with to see if we can uh, give them that code and integrate with them. Um, and then the last method, which is going to be the quickest and easiest, is to just click this share button. Uh, here's where you can actually add extra information about the map. You can change the title, add a description. You can add your contact info. So this is where that uh, taking a master map and duplicating it for yourself, you can actually add your contact information. It's going to show up on that map. And then once you're ready, you'll just click copy link and you can share it. And from here, anywhere that you can link out, you can take this link, put it in email campaigns, um, add it to different sites, add it to your proposal decks, um, text it. You can pretty much share it from there. Uh, for all of my Simple View customers that have access to the Simple View map widget, all you need is this code right here uh, in in uh, on this page. You'll be able, there should be a field in Simple View for the map widget to just add that in, and uh, that will allow you to move the map or add maps throughout your your uh, website pages and use the same map on different pages. So, uh, if you have any questions there, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of different use cases for our maps. So I want to touch on that real quick. We covered it in the webinar. Uh, again, happy to um, share and, and discuss further with you if any questions, but here's the, the page right here. You have all these recommended use cases like sales proposals, uh, virtual fam tours. If you actually have done an in-person fam tour and want to share a map with all the locations with clients after, we have a lot of customers that do that. Convention districts, uh, adding it to your meeting planner pages. So if you have either uh, a page on your website, you can embed those maps directly. Uh, site visits, accessibility guides, that's where those custom categories come into play. We have customers who've created uh, autism certified businesses and that's a category they use. Neighborhood guides, uh, property maps, sports facilities. So if you wanna highlight all the different sports facilities, you can. Uh, trail maps, we actually have customers that have used our maps as part of um, grant funding for specific trails on these third-party pages. They've taken the embed code, embedded onto to the uh, grant page, as well as uh, Bandwango passes, city passes. Again, that's where that third-party platform comes into play. You can take that code and, and add it in. Uh, recruiting, if you're trying to recruit people to come uh, work at your company or uh, highlight if you have a membership base and you wanna show what's around uh, your co-work space, or hospital or anywhere else, you can use these maps for recruiting and then also dining guides. One last uh, thing I did wanna to touch on too is just as a reminder, you do have the ability, uh, even if we don't have a virtual tour, you can still create these pens uh, the, that you can add to the map that are basically just listings where you can have thumbnails. And if once we do capture a virtual tour, uh, it will get added. And as always, our maps and uh, share pages are dynamic. So any updates and changes you make are going to automatically get added to the map. Thank you so much. And please don't hesitate to reach out to support at threshold360.com or myself if you have any questions at all.